Hello everyone! Today, I will be taste testing coffee from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm sorry. The Dollar 25 Tree. I have these two today. This one is the Sanko Harib Hazelnut Ground Coffee. And this one is the Harry and David Vanilla Creme Creme Brulee Ground Coffee. Let's try this one first. Because honestly, I've already been drinking this one. And it's open. I think it's pronounced Carib, right? Like Caribbean? I'll just call it Carib right now. The Sanko Carib Imported Coffee. Sanko Carib is made with selectively harvested Arabica coffee beans from the Caribbean region. Our beans are roasted to perfection to enhance aroma, flavor balance, and full body taste that distinguish Caribbean coffee beans as some of the most sought after beans in the world. I'm gonna use this mug. I don't smell any hazelnut. French press. It smells nice. I'm gonna let this steep for probably two to three minutes. Okay, so now let's press this. light caramel color to it. I mean, I did steep it for at least four minutes. Um, it doesn't say if it's light or medium or dark, but I'm thinking this is between medium and light based off of the color. It really just smells like regular black coffee. I don't smell any hazelnut. But there's really no evident hazelnut flavor in here. I think this is a light roast. It tastes very much like hot water or maybe a lightly steeped brewed tea. But it's very smooth. It's not acidic at all. But it's like there's no flavor, but it's easy going down. <laughs> I like it because it's very smooth. But really, if you gave this to me and I was blindfolded, and if you told me it was probably an Earl Grey or a black tea, I would believe you. If you like tea, this is the coffee for you. It tastes like a not so strong tea with maybe just a little bit of coffee essence. That's water, that's water. There is a little bit of an oily rim. So I think the coffee beans were a bit oily and that's what kind of makes it feel like it's smooth. Almost buttery, but no flavor. This is tea. have the Harry and David Vanilla Creme Brulee Coffee. Only select 100% Arabica coffee beans grown and harvested by hand on small estates around the world are used. The beans are expertly roasted and then quickly air-cooled to maintain optimal flavor without imparting bitterness and promptly packed to ensure that you enjoy the coffee at its peak of quality. Ooh, this really has a smell. This just smelt generic. Actually, it doesn't smell like anything compared to this. Mm. This one. Yes, I smell the creme brulee. <sighs> it smells so good. It smells sweet. I'm excited for this one. Mm. on the package but this does seem like a blonde to medium roast maybe just a light roast are we ready yep it's pretty blonde to me 
wow, so much more fun than the other one. Creme brulee, sugary vanilla. Okay, let's try it. Hmm, tastes a little bit darker than the Sanko coffee. I'm sure if I put creamer, I could taste the creme brulee more, but at least I could smell it. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. I could just drink it black. The taste isn't that strong. Experience a smooth cup of coffee that tastes much like dessert with our vanilla creme brulee coffee. Now you can enjoy the sweet and creamy taste of vanilla coffee from the comfort of your home. Brew a fresh cup of delightfully flavored coffee anytime you like or scent decadent vanilla coffee for a wonderful gift sure to please a coffee connoisseur. As far as flavor, I could only smell what it's supposed to be flavored as. Mmm, but it's good. Nice and bodied, not acidic, and it's not bitter. I like this one. Definitely better than, better than the Sanko. I like it. I think this is really enjoyable as a breakfast or dessert coffee. For today, I tried out these two Dollar Tree coffees. They're both pretty good. This one is the superior one. So I would say maybe if you're a beginner to coffee and you're trying to get used to the taste, go for this one. I feel like it's more like tea. It's very subtle. This one is better. Very fragrant, sweet smelling, and it's not bitter when you drink it. This one was pleasant. That was my Dollar Tree coffee review for today. And stay tuned for my $1.99 coffee.